Kwame Brown came up. And I don't think, me personally, I don't think Kwame was a failure. You don't make it to the NBA, the number one overall pick. Now, maybe he, some people say, well, he wasn't a Hall of Famer. He wasn't this or that. But what, if you could have given, what, what do you think some of the things that happened to Kwame? Because watching him, he's athletic. He could run. He was nimble. He was quick. Why don't you think he enjoyed the level of success that many think he, he was destined to have? Well, from, you know, from what I know about the situation, because I know a couple guys that was on the Wizards, you know, when he got drafted, okay. was that he went to a veteran team where um, I guess that they didn't really want him there. Right. You know, I think that what he was saying was the truth. Like, he thought that he was supposed to go to the Clippers for Ellen Brand. Right. So those veterans that, you know, Michael Jordan want to win right now. Right. Right. He don't want to develop a high school kid. Right. Yep. So from what I hear, it was just like he didn't get a lot of support, you know what I'm saying, from the from the vets. And, you know, that's that's a big thing, man. And I, and I will say, like, as much as I wanted to be a top five pick, you know, God blessed me to be picked at the 25th pick because he put me on a team full of veterans that taught me how to be a man, right. how to be a pro. Right. You know what I'm saying? What they instilled in me, the foundation they gave me was the reason why I was able to play 16 years and why I had a respectable career was because of the things that those guys taught me. And from what I understand from the outside looking in, it was in some stories, was that he never got that. Because when you think about it to your point, he had everything, but what he lacked was confidence. Yes. And sometimes you need vets to give you that confidence. You know what I'm saying? The one thing I'll just talk about, Allen, is like from what how I seen it, because I was in Indiana when he was at the height in Philly, when he was giving us 40 every night. But he had all these guys around him that you could tell they believed in him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was something about the way he gave him a high five, the way he patted him on the ass that made them willing to run through a wall for him. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I think that Kwame never got. And that's the reason why I think his career started off that way. I totally agree. I don't believe you Kwame, could. You, Kwame, go ahead. 18? Yeah. Kwame, 18? Yep. 18 years old, number one pick in the NBA draft. I mean, if, if, if that's not pressure, because, I mean, even if you go lottery, that's that's big time pressure. Right. He's straight out of high school, no college experience to step on that stage like that. I applaud him. You know what I mean? And I played with Kwame. Right. I love Kwame the person. I played with him. You know what I mean? Everybody talk about, you know, they didn't know Kwame was like this and, you know, how outspoken he is now and everything. Kwame been like that. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and something... I don't know when it was and when it happened, some lit a fire up under him and it all came out of him. But, you know, Kwame's smart, very intelligent, man. You, you go on his podcast and you listen to him, you got a lot of great points, you know what I mean? And, and I just feel like, you know, he was put in a tough position, man, being the number one player in the NBA at that young of an age, you know what I mean? And, and like Al said, going to a squad where they were trying to win. Right. Like, they had Black Jesus on that squad. <laughs> you know, anything you're you trying to win now. Right. right. You know what I mean? And um, it, it's just, I, I didn't like the way it turned out because um, a lot of guys that he did get into it with is guys that I love and respect. You know what I mean? Right. So I didn't like the whole fiasco anyway. And, you know, it, it, it gave me a bad feeling anyway. And, and I just think, you know, um, Kwame did what he did. He was he was successful. I know him as a person and as a teammate. I know he had fun when he played. He enjoyed himself. And um and and Kwame had a lot of great moments. Now you would expect a number one player to, like Shannon said, end up being a Hall of Famer and All Star. Yes, and all those yes, things. yes. At least an All Star. Maybe if you don't make the Hall of Fame, at least an All Star. Yes. Right. And, and it and it and it didn't it didn't happen for him, but. You know, a bus, I can't really, I can't say that, I, man. Yeah. I mean, number one player, I mean, number one pick, I don't know, all the beautiful things he, he's done for his family mm -hmm. and um, and for himself, I, I, I applaud him, man. You know what I mean? I love Kwame Brown. Guys, we, we, we're all ex-professional uh, ex -professional athletes, and you know the number one thing. People can say, well, it, it's size, it's this, it's that, it's confidence. We've seen guys that right. are tall. We've seen guys that can run and can lift all these weights. But if you're not confident when you step out there on the court that, or the field, it don't it. mean nothing. That's it. That's it. That's that's it in a nutshell. If you don't have if the confidence, I don't care if you LeBron James himself. 
you can be Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? With all the athletic ability in the world. You know what I mean? And if, if you don't believe in yourself, and that's in anything in life. Yes. That's anything. Yes. You know what I mean? You behind the eight ball anytime you don't you don't believe in yourself. You know what I mean? I, I, my, my, my mentor used to teach me all the time when I was young. He used to say, if it's you and me, it's me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. That's not cocky. That's not arrogance or anything like that. That's the belief. That's the, you believing in the talent that God gave you. You know what I mean? And respecting the talent that he gave you by believing that you're the best. And, you know, I, I stepped on the court with number 23 before both of them. Right. You know what I mean? Both of the number 23s. And when I was on that court that night, I felt like in my heart, I was the best player on the floor. Right. And a million people would say otherwise, but it all that matter was how I felt. Right. You know what I mean? You gonna always know who number 23 is in black and red, you know, when he leave up out of this gym tonight, but you gonna know who number three is too. And that's just how I approached it. You know what I mean? Cause once you don't have the confidence and bow down the, the, the battle is already lost. You're in trouble. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.